Witamy na spotkaniu w ramach projektu Future Builders. Nazywam się Piotr Żabicki i będę miał, porozma- and and miał przyjemność porozmawiać the pleasure ze to talk today with the well-known and highly respected architect Mr. Robert Konieczny. And the topic of this discussion will be future of the architecture and uh, building. When someone asked me in the past, what is most fascinating to you in the architect's work? Fortune telling, I replied, because we anticipate the future space of the uh, uh, future builders in an international platform uh, where uh, architects, developers, uh, town planners and businessmen meet. They can confront their uh, views and their opinion on the sustainable architecture future. Via this platform, we'd like to establish new contacts and together create the future, emphasizing the friend ecosystem of human and the environment. Building respons- are responsible for nearly 40% of uh, energy use and 36% of the co- uh, CO2 emission. And that's why it's so important that in so important find that the experience of architects and investors are combined. We'll talk about that with uh, Robert Konieczny on the 23rd, with Przemu Kasik on the 7th of October, with Zbigniew Matry on the 14th uh, October, with Alvaro Leite, Cesar. Vieira. The originator and sponsors the entire project is the Aluprof company. Today, Robert Konieczny is our guest. Good morning, Robert. Robert Konieczny, architect. In 1996, he obtained the certificate of New Jersey Institute of Technology, a founder of the Kevuka Promise, and since 2017, a member of French Academy of Architecture, laureate well of the year in 2016 for the uh, Dialogue Center Przełomy in Szczecin, European Prize for Urban Public Space in 2016 for the same museum in Szczecin, Best New Private House Award, Wallpaper Design Awards in 2017 for Konieczny's Art, very well known design and house of the year awards in 2006 for the art real house and 12 nominations to the uh, miss van der rohe foundation award excellent architect and these awards just confirm this uh, thesis. The uh, products uh, of the uh, office uh, were published in most uh, very important uh, publishers like Fido Natasha and also in prestigious uh, journals like Attention Review, Andrea Casabella, The Icon, Mark Mazin, The Plan or Wallpaper. Hans Ebanks in the book European Architecture since 1890 considered Kavu promise uh, to the stream of European conceptualists together with months such a uh, known uh, studio like BIC. Now the uh, work of Kavu promise is more more uh, directed uh, to look uh, for the solution adapting the architecture to unavoidable climate change and related uh, challenges. Robert, let's talk of the future of architecture. First, a few questions from me. While the listeners are encouraged to ask questions on chat, because I'll be reading them in the second part of the uh, discussion. Let's start from you and your future. What is the concept for your own architectural future? Because beyond any doubt, you are a star of international architecture, but rather associated with architectural gems uh, on a small and medium-sized scale with residents and public buildings. Do you have an ambition like uh, architect stars, the biggest companies, to get involved in the uh, mass architecture, town planning, uh, office blocks, or residential uh, housing estates, or this is not your fairy tale? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Piotr. I would say, first of all, I do not feel I'm not a star of global architecture. Our designs are associated, recognizable, but association 
with one office is another stage, uh, perhaps to which we will never enter, and we haven't entered. So, with I'm with uh, I'm very humble approaching that, referring to our plans. Personally, I was always attracted by public buildings. I wanted to do something that would be serving people. Even during the studies, I was most interested in social small flats where during the classes with our guru, but the 20 years of my own architectural experience uh, allowed uh, me to understand myself, uh, what I am, how, uh, how I am. I am a person, a bit a nagging person, which sits on every detail, elaborates every element, and also that results that it's difficult to act to work on a mass scale when you are involved in details. And you know, if there's a, an office manager, he could focus on that. And uh, perhaps uh, uh, we would do more of that, probably with the benefit for the public. But we still think about that. Very modest man. He's not revealing his long-term plans, uh, leaving the future open. You've mentioned about our faculty. We studied together, and during the studies, uh, your colleagues admired you for your concepts, novel concept. To what extent it resulted in your self-confidence, which is necessary today to consistently implement your projects and maintain their high quality? Definitely when you do something and you succeed somehow is somehow appreciated it drives you and it gives you the when your uh, wings uh, self confidence is needed and obviously it originated over time uh, i'm rather uh, not very a courageous man but i recall a situation where i thought that it's actually good that we uh, make nice project we develop. We got an invitation to a common project with actual stars of world format about whom we were learning at school. And suddenly we had to uh, make a common project. We were so and they're so stressed that we think how not to compromise ourselves, to not make our project worse. And uh, we stopped to work in a in, in normal way, in a systemic way, uh, only after a month uh, until I uh, had to explain in my head if they addressed you, they, they believe that you can do that. So if I uh, regain this uh, a trust in our uh, possibilities and uh, it was uh, to be shown as a, a demo but then there was a crisis perhaps you will complete this project you say that uh, you and your uh, office you are conceptualists so the it's important an idea and not some specific aesthetics that is important so your architecture is a conceptual intellectual and is in today's world a set to consume nice pictures such an attitude of intellectualist is not difficult to, uh, to be understood by your customers did you have to say goodbye to your customers based on the misunderstanding and on the fact that your concepts are sophist intellectually sophisticated. At the beginning, uh, there was some problem of such uh, attitude, this 
design that you see here, the Atrial House, uh, that we've received a award for that, some years ago, that resulted in a change that customers are unaware of this conceptualism has a potential so that can get something uh, which is very functional and get some added value. Sometimes we succeed uh, to find something like that. I would put it like that. It's not a, a, an obstacle. The people that come to us know that, know that it, the end might be quite interesting. The problem is different of Polish market. Sometimes sick dates and price lowering. I'm here as a rule. I'm pretty decisive and I stick to certain assumptions because I know that if we are going to cut down the prices, it will not be good. And only most often we say goodbye at such a moment. So I'm trying to fight with Polish reality to uh, make that standards are rather a Western time. It's very important that you raise this topic. If investors listen to us, do not save on the design. The design is just a few percent of the investment project value. I can weigh that this investment will be successful and make that this 95% of the outstanding amount will be spent well or otherwise and give us more time because the art of architecture requires time, especially at this stage of concept, because that's the problem. Investors think do that within two weeks because the, the, uh, the detailed design is a, a very labor consuming. No, the concept should have the greatest contribution in the design schedule. Uh, great that you've mentioned that. And to our colleagues, architects, we appeal not to uh, lower down the prices because a low price disturbs in the uh, disturbs uh, uh, in sophisticated architecture. I fully agree. So, if we uh, stick to normal, reasonable rates. Uh, making that we can make the design well for the good of general public, then definitely the work will, will have enough work and the designs will be much better. Listen, let's go back to your designs. You've been realizing great, uh, great uh, designs of houses in the uh, surrounding of nature, including your own arc. However, there is a large group of critics of single-family houses development, which uh, indicate ineffectiveness and quite sizable uh, social costs, like of the cost of the technical or uh, excess infrastructure, as compared with multifamily houses. So, what is your opinion? about the future of the housing architecture in Poland, because during the pandemic, the cities emptied, and which shows that people anyhow want to be closer to the nature. So, will the future of living are dense cities, compact cities, or rather dispersed in nature, but in houses harmoniously integrated with nature, like your arc, which shows that this cannot be contradictory. That's a very interesting and important topic. We could talk a lot about that, but always you've got to look at broadly and to see the whole thing. I recall the time from the communist era that the area of uh, uh, low development were filled with uh, high blocks uh, to, to make the architecture denser. And uh, that was not good. Out. There's a, a closure, there's Ustroń, where uh, there were single family houses and uh, something which is referred today as Manhattan, big uh, apartment uh, houses at the uh, town planning uh, course in year five. You don't need to go abroad to see very nice solutions for the town planning, great green areas and then 
condensed uh, compact uh, development of small cities central church the uh, main there's a, a side road from the main road so this is the context that you shouldn't build uh, such uh, compact and high houses because this landscape is working uh, very, low, uh, very well and we could just follow that. And the, uh, the future of town planning, Polish town planning, is this passion of the development with infrastructure, roads, utilities and so on. And this spatial planning, this is the topic that we'll talk about a lot and a long and all the scenes that were made and then the the resulting effects and referring to my arc i'm not sure i actually live in katowice exactly uh, 10 minutes uh, from unicato and i uh, ride them by a bike because I like it i encourage to do that so don't think about a bike as it's only recreation but this is just a normal means of transport. If it's if the weather is nice, why not? Even during winter time, I encourage my wife to stay in the city, and she's agreed. Despite before the pandemic, all our friends left the city and lives outside the city. It's not pointless because you know traffic jams, the schools, and so on. So we've got an, an apartment. We live now around 100 square meters, and the arc result that's important, and we should remember about that, about certain psychological feelings. The pandemic resulted also, in my case, some reflection that anyhow people uh, as you've told uh, run away from cities by my great supporter uh, that people that work in the cities to keep them in the cities and we should do anything look unicato or other uh, apartments used to keep people uh, in the city i also a uh, promoter of wise uh, compaction of the cities that be the future of the architecture but uh, uh, the uh, single family houses should be constructed obviously most of areas not very highly urbanized so the uh, dense uh, development would make uh, more harm than benefit and condensing that uh, makes that it be uh, more uh, pragmatic but I'd like to say to refer to this psychological feeling because we uh, focus on the pandemic they think that people escape from cities architects try to keep them in cities psychology human psychology feelings I'm going back to my wife she always dreamt of land just to have a garden to dig in the ground in the earth. That's why the ark that was the, that was that was for her. If I wouldn't agree, I would have to look for the third wife. I think I made a good choice, but if I look at that now, if we would have to make the decision now, build or not, I'm not positive, because we know more than 10 or 15 years ago. I'd like to talk about that, that this thinking, in my case, in my office, changed. That would mean that we are not going to design houses. Houses are a natural element of the landscape, but we should design them wisely to make them self-sufficient, so not to create the burden for the structure. You've told something very important, and here I see also dynamic changes that occur in the period of a dozen or so years. In the attitude to designing, I disagree 
znaczy byłoby wielką krzywdą dla kultury, gdyby Arka nie powstała. It would be a great damage to the culture if the Ark would not originate. It's good that originated, and you had the need to design it. But I stopped you. Let's go back to your statement. I'll ask uh, about a very interesting concept of a new form of living, uh, combining the nature with kind of a residential estate. Okay, but uh, refer to one thing. Before the pandemic, we were invited to a project to create an experimental house. 20 offices were invited to that, that like experimenting, and we had to create a building not only to live but also to work. Remember, and the pandemic has shown that it is proven, does not leave, go to work, they can work at home. So we had to design that. And then the living garden originated, which uh, attracts the nature inside without giving up what the 21st century uh, house gives, some comfort that we could use to. And as in Germany or, or everywhere, Everybody think how the future should be shaped, what will be the dominating type of development. This type of thinking, which has proven right in the architecture, it has its place in the architecture, and that's why some symptoms or trials to create new form of living and working. And what's interesting that a design is to be constructed, and our has also opportunity to be constructed, but we do not have the time to to carry out to complete all the technical issues that suspend. But this one of direction we should remember: self-sufficient house. They live uh, there, uh, in less urbanized areas, not in the cities where they live. I would tell more, looking percentage-wide, the amount of such areas is much higher than concentrated urbanized areas. Clear. So, wrapping up, summarizing, it's, uh, we need some reasonable uh, balance and responding to the human needs because it's uh, for people that the various forms of living were invented. I'll ask about one of the forms because we are an author of an optimum house. The Arkinachs don't like quite that. That is a typical design. It is a typical uh, one-family uh, house where the amount of materials and elements is reduced to the minimum. And the uh, floor square uh, starts from 108 to up to 158 square meters, as I remember. Could you tell, elaborate on that? Because I think that looking for right forms of living, I can for reject the issue of making designs typical. We should have them, but high quality and adapted to context in which they originate, and not change at will by investors. Uh, tell something about the Optimum House. This is our second attempt to approach a design which for many, which is for many customers. I'm realistic, I'm aware that these in projects for uh, individual order are the best, made with heart and mind, but not everybody can afford that, and uh, there are many people uh, uh, have uh, very precise calculations to the last penny. And the second issue uh, that about we are thinking to, to order Polish landscape, we are talking a lot about uh, before the pandemic, how it's sprawling, and that was an attempt to find an, a perfect proportion.
we reached the great Polish roofs to create a house which will uh, order the space a bit and in general after the first uh, the first trial of this house round house that was a bit naive approach to the issue uh, we approached that uh, very rationally based on the previous experience and Tomek Baron who was the co-author of the entire idea and opinion on the Optimum House. He carried out interviews in various uh, real agency, uh, real estate agencies. What the Poles need to create something average, what an average Polish family weight expects. So based on that, uh, we developed this house, one garage, ground floor, first floor, and so on and so on. Plus the assumption that we want that this house is to be uh, well designed, low energy consumption, very compact, flexible, to be capable of adapting it to the needs of any family. And something has originated. I'm not sure whether the proportions are good. This is an element of further search. When I'm going to the western areas with German houses, they had great proportions. They were working for years or even centuries for that. But we made an attempt. And yesterday I had a lecture during which to a narrow group of management board of the some commercial uh, network which uh, have an idea to create a, a house of dreams for uh, every pole. And I was talking about this optimum house and we consider that we owe something to the society. We should uh, give some product uh, because actually we do that pro bono without any money, just for the idea. And, to, and we are not very uh, uh, present that uh, very much. You know, I'm uh, uh, taking of details. I know that certain elements could be elaborated, but if 90% of customers didn't see between uh, difference between my version, this great version, and this typical house, so. Why should we complicate that? We uh, are not talking about the cloud. And I yesterday was told that we should be talking about that and be proud of that. In the past, with the number of offices, we wanted to create a catalog of houses that could be bought for much smaller prices but which could provide an, an alternative opportunity for this flood of 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 this strange designs on the market that uh, litter the space I respect uh, this attempt and I uh, undertake this issue of uh, typical designs because I am very much afraid uh, which will be provided by the state, i.e. this concept of houses up to 70 square meters without the building permit, the supervision of uh, experts. Uh, I'm afraid that it will make that Polish landscape will be condensed with such buildings which will introduce this harmony and will make that this landscape will lose a lot of beauty, the more so that here and how participation in this competition for 70 uh, meter square houses by absurd uh, conditions should be boycotted by all thinking architects uh, who are interested in the good of the space. What is your opinion? Is this dereg deregulation of Polish town planning and plus the houses up to 70 square meters? We are talking about the future. Uh, will that 
ogór, total chaos and and total disharmony. Piotr, unfortunately, they ogór. I'm, you know, for me that's a very bad thing. We've got a beautiful country, but to some extent damaged by architecture, and it's difficult to to turn it back. Plus the uh, the conscience, what's going on to the climate, which is uh, overimposed on that. But going put to a special order. Yesterday during that lecture, we were discussing about that. This topic was raised, and I started thinking. What would be the outcome? Because actually, the circles is want to boycott that myself as well, and I'm not going to be a, a referee in this competition. On the other hand, I had a reflection I'd like to share. The, this will be implemented into life. We see that this government with great consequence does certain things. They move like tanks, like a roller moving through this country. In a while, this competition will result. There's a hundred of prizes for 5,000 lot each, I'm afraid. They'll be terrible, and they will flood our country. And it's difficult to imagine that. Frankly speaking, years ago, myself as a young architect, I was thinking about a design up to 70 square meters. So to to reduce the the uh, wills of our compatriots not to, to build on, on small plots, I was always attracted by social development, social housing. And even such an idea itself, if you think it over, arrange and make it wisely, this could be reasonably implemented. But what's going on, how it's going on, is completely without any sense. Uh, for quite a time, I don't believe that in Polish space the situation will improve because all these deregulations, all these plans, all these requirements that are set on the paper are frequently entirely distracted from the reality which is somewhere assigned. This is a broad topic of. Uh, plans prepared for the smallest amounts and the uh, uh, public procurement where the price is deciding. How could be good? I thought it cannot be worse. But now we will get such a, we'll see such a dose. What will happen in the next years? And the fact that people are uh, escaping as well as a pandemic, something uh, can uh, happen that we cannot imagine. On the one hand, we've got the boycott of the uh, uh, circles, and the competition will be uh, attended by the worst of the worst, which will create the reality. These designs cannot be good, good because in an architectural competition, there are no uh, highly regulated, uh, highly recorded architects under the competition jury. Architects are a minority, and rather these are persons who are not practitioners in architecture. So your concerns are right, and what actually can be ruined within a few years in this country, I think during a few decades next, will have to be uh, uh, repaired. And that's sad, thinking about the future and about our uh, children and grandchildren. But let's talk about the residential housing on the larger scale. Uh, people say a lot about pato developers, about housing investment set 
for the maximum PUM, for the lowest uh, price with uh, fully functional flats, views window to window, and omnipresent junk, the cheapest materials, and so on. In Unicato, you show anyhow that it's possible uh, to make something that is uh, beautiful and cheap, uh, beautiful and great, but cheaply. And this showed that this, as it is in Dombit, Katowice, that the social housing could be uh, sensitive to pupils' needs, but because if, uh, which is not a standard, because when developer comes for a project, he's focused on a specific group of customers and his mix, he's not interested in the mix. So uh, tell something more about that and whether in your opinion is it possible that these Pato developers would disappear and under what conditions? You know, unfortunately here, I'm also pessimistic. Actually, right now, at the moment, architect can do a lot. All the uh, provision will not allow that. But the, definitely, what we did in Beldom, this is, we, it was constructed in a very difficult uh, location, which we believe that will be healed by such an investment project. The building is practically entirely occupied, and that's success because analysis uh, were showing that nobody would live there, and two developers were drawn from that. We've managed to uh, uh, realize that and enter the people. There's the, the GKA, uh, GKA's food club stadium and the people uh, place in Katowice that were all, always sick. Uh, we uh, we fight it a lot and uh, convincing people we've lost a lot of time to develop some solutions to uh, discussions with developers, to make them aware, to convince them. Of course, we understand the basic business objective for them. They must sell it. This cannot be a failure that will be standing empty and will be uh, anti-advertising for them and us. This is very difficult, but I think that not only in this case, it's worth working and design in agreement with your uh, conscience so that we could live there ourselves to be uh, to uh, work frankly on this uh, flat would i like to uh, live there or, or introduce there my parents or my mom uh, for their old age so even referring to the standards allowing for that you could create a wide space that will be functioning. I'll give an example of this bell dome, because for a first glance it may seem to be a great compact development. And the idea is very simple. Next to it there is a park, great, and all the previous developer design were uh, arranged uh, building to building where people were looking into their windows. So we thought, if we've got such a park, we should provide them a view on this park. That's we've arranged the entire development one on the other. Uh, we created a vertical uh, arrangement to provide people space and every inhabitant before the pandemic got a balcony, a piece of balco uh, balcony or piece of terrace or a garden. And when the pandemic started, I'm in touch with certain people. Uh, they, they ask whether your architects uh, allow this and that, but they also think that there's such a space they, when they could go out, they live and not get uh, crazy. So we try to design, despite that's important, despite that if we look at that building only from aesthetic point of view, we'd cut it. They would be cleaner, but we reckon that these functional uh, objectives related with the psychology are more important than clarity, purity of the building. And for 
those people, it turned out to be good, the fact that they lived there. So uh, an attitude, we can do a lot, but like we do that, like if we do that for ourselves. Escape from Pato Developers, but let's talk with developers, show other forms, as you say frequently, there's no time because the concept is to be prepared within weeks, but we should try based on this initiative, because without our initiative nothing will change to better. Can you see in the uh, contemporary architecture some leading, overriding goal will be, which will primarily shape our space? I think that we live, this is a curse, we live in interesting times, and I think that we'll experience, or we experience they, uh, how architecture changes, because it must, uh, in the architectures we think usually with the change of the uh, outlook, but we, that will uh, occur, but they'll be dictated by the necessity to change uh, everything from the scratch, from the process of building until the building's operation, building's life. And this is the fascinating period, obviously, if such changes will not occur, the future will not be ground by the origination of new Bauhaus or such institution or such uh, bottom-up movements. Architect thinks about the future will make that in shortly will witness new aesthetics which, which will result from this uh, change from the inside. I tell it like that. Uh, now we've been talking a lot in the office about this reflection with respect to the climate. How to design now? Because any designing, any building today is, is wrong, as you've told. The, the building buildings contribute to the climate changes. How to build to make it a, as little harmful as possible because it will be always harmful. A lot of discussions result in the fact I'd like to talk about that that per, and perhaps I've shown a few slides on our plateau, the plateau gallery in the Czech Republic, the building, which actually was a ruin. It could be demolished uh, and built something new, but uh, we've been using the resources wisely. We just a, a change it to the current needs. We've created a space where the art in an unprecedented way can go upside. We've got great movable, moving elements which uh, provide new possibilities to the contemporary artists. And around, if we can show the slides around that, we've designed a square a few years ago, which was an extension of this exhibition space as a closed uh, design. That's actually stretching. Uh, could we have plateau? Uh, perhaps I'll refer to stretching later on. Okay. Perhaps the plateau will appear. And look, we have a square like uh, that in church in, in s at the moment there's a reflection that's not the city center church in where people needed that oh this is platon this is that design perhaps this square is to be changed obviously leave some space for artists but change it so to make it as green as possible and i'd like now to have the next two slides we convinced and ourselves and everybody around that it's worth that you see that's the original version to make a space entirely green based on such a type blending that results from the past because in the past there were buildings that were demolished and 
and the performance of such an operation at the time when everything exists happens was ready for production is very difficult and to, to add the green and now we've been thinking about and the second issue because Szczecin has appeared about non-standard actions we've got a square uh, in Szczecin which actually was to be a building and uh, we make it a square building this broken line marks the building and the rest of the square and turns out that the public forum where a large number of people come people uh, the site lives uh, people meet watch concerts so let's don't uh, destroy what we have in ready but we should respond to what's going on with the climate at the beginning of this year uh, with the we are talking with the authority of the museum then with this marshal there was an idea obviously because five years since it's come to refresh it a bit but introduce a solution if we have next slide to introduce such solution that we do not uh, uh, destroy the square that necessary we thought about uh, uh, making green but uh, people need it like it is but we should add there more high trees I'm not uh, sure whether you know more than 10 years ago uh, we had to cut all the trees around to cut them out. We've moved them to a special nursery and now we want to add this a, a high green which will surround the square. But what is nice there will be preserved. The award for the public space obliges us to show, let's be a good example of changes that must occur in Poland, because Szczecin is a big city. But sometimes we've got small cities where the main squares are covered with concrete unnecessarily. So why? We want to show that, that we should work like that and even finish that, even things that are finished could be improved to a smaller or larger extent to do something wise for the planet. You've raised a very important issue because I reckon that in the future architects and investors should stop thinking uh, about the uh, project before starting, but uh, apart from the design phase, the supervision, there should be a testing phase. All products have a testing phase. Architecture doesn't. And in this testing phase, what you greatly told, uh, we achieve certain new ideas, but observing this theater of life, in the uh, uh, that uh, appears in the uh, space that we've created, we should respond and great respect that you don't close the design, uh, you return to them and improve. In my opinion, this should be the future of architecture. Introduce the phase of testing, for that there should be an investor's budget. Uh, surveys uh, should be carried out, uh, BOE, the world of science is the world of uh, architecture researchers it's just daily life and uh, conclusions from such research during the first life of uh, buildings life they should be implemented so i'd like to make it the future of architecture to make it living and the designer would be the mother the father of this space for a longer time than only a year for the design. You've told that very nicely, thanks. But let's go back to you. You are a visionary. Are your ideas very futuristic, uh, referring to the studies a bridge in Verona on Governor's Island in New York? How do you see our future in the futurism? I don't like to, to nag, we've uh, nagged on the lack of planning about this. No, perhaps not everybody, small houses. But we've rightly 
worked out because in my opinion this message must get to the public because the message of authority is entirely different. What is your vision of this city of the future? What can you see there, both globally and locally? I've also mentioned that I prepared the design uh, best regards. Our dream, and we are aiming at that in our designs, that the nature would be, the architecture would be integrated as much as possible with the nature, the mission. I refer to the house, but we are talking about various buildings, schools, kindergartens, office blocks, so that could uh, operate that an emergency situation will work eight hours and we dream to go out and go for a walk to a park to uh, enjoy the green. We focus to introduce the green as much as possible to buildings atop but also inside so that the feeling of life uh, among green would be uh, not only an optical but that the nature would give us uh, what it gives us when we go for a walk and I dream that architecture would be so much integrated with the green because that be a favorable the climate of life in the city will be very will be better will not be running away from it at least in this area densely urbanized and we need to create such a space to make it friendly for life and the designs that we try to do now experiment a bit uh, the the housing designs now that are working on in Sklarska and the hotel we want to build in Poznan these are buildings where the green actually enters very strongly uh, into the architecture and that provides a lot of benefits you definitely know that such innovations that will result that this process, the, the building, process of building and the physical operation of the building which be uh, a much less burdensome for the planet and perhaps will reverse the negative effects of construction to some way, now that's a dream, nobody managed to do that to to reduce the CO2 so that the building will, would contribute to improve the condition of our planet and such cities, such space, I dream about such cities, such spaces, sustainable to that. I'm a fan of bike riding. I reckon that it's good for the city, for our health, and I also encourage everyone to do that. Then uh, just a, a deviation where we uh, ride a bike, this is kind of a hobby. And I'm also aware that not everybody can ride a bike, that people must be ensured convenient transport, and the people not get on a bike. So everything must be balanced, sustainable. We cannot go from one extreme to, to the other one. So all that must be balanced very nicely. The more so that from transport point of view everything changes. Now we are uh, 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 moving, not flying. So perhaps the, the arrangement of functions and the uh, functional cities will change. So we should think about that from the beginning. And uh, interesting what will happen to all these car parks, but the processes uh, get more and more dynamic and the progress is greater and greater. But we should remember that uh, not to, that the sustainable thinking, uh, development and building should be the, the basis, because otherwise we'll build hard. Uh, so I dream of such a city, will they look like that or like uh, uh, in science fiction videos? Uh, let's hope your vision will win, but we're talking about the concept for 
global space, you emphasize your, the link of your architecture with the history, with the context, with the surroundings. You dig in the past in the, to find your idea your concept. Do you think that a designer can design globally in any corner of the world for the customers that are different from the point of view of culture? If the understanding of the history and culture of a specific site requires to communicate with it longer, we know that old architects designed at any place from where they get an order. What do you think about that? Actually, in your question, <laughs> there is an answer hidden. <laughs> I reckon, yes, it's great in our profession, which is most fascinating in our profession, and tracks me most. There are such topics that you've got to learn, you've got to understand them. Uh, to study them carefully, to do it well. I would like to be a specialist close in the very narrow field and to the, that till the end of my life. And the opportunity that sometimes happens to design other places requires such preparation, as you've told, and very deep studies to learn the site, understand it, to talk, to experience that, to be capable of uh, making good design. I recall now, and I shouldn't, that's shown globally. I, perhaps I can mention one thing. He said investor who was pissed very much. Then uh, another architecture of Stan was designed there, uh, which did visit that. And I do not understand that, because you've got to understand the place, you've got to learn it. You must carry out very thorough analysis. You've mentioned that sometimes we study the history. We even refer to the the designs that are situated on a part of historical context, and even the, the dialogue center Przełomy or Plato, uh, you know, reaching the past history, which does not exist in this space, can result in a solution that uh, provides some cultural continuity of this site, and something that uh, did not exist could be in a way reactivated in a different way, but anyhow, we give this place something which a result of some cataclysm war that's been lost. And obviously yes, but this could be done wisely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> conceptually, future builders, uh, what for you is the involvement in this project? Because I participate in that because I consider that we should have as many as possible such discussions and we should praise that such a platform originated where we share our opinion. I'm not Myself, I've got a lot of questions in my head. I've been thinking about numerous things. I'm not quite convinced to a lot of things that we should do that this or another way. All that is some action based on the current uh, knowledge and common sense and such discussions, such exchange of opinions results that you know, like during this discussion today, there is some reflection originates that we'll probably use in our next work. So we should praise that we meet, that we exchange our opinions, because without that we'll not wisely move forward. Precisely. So it's good that this platform originated. Myself, a, arranging a brainstorm, I think, and annihilator of ugliness. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I think it can uh, be successful if the future is not going in the right direction. We've used an hour. I'm I, <laughs> like 
stock a lot as Brazil Robert but now we should provide an opportunity to ask a few questions from our listeners so ask the question on chat I'll be reading and I've got a magic tablet and I'm checking did you have you received anything just a moment. Mr. Adam asks, which country or which is for you a model in terms of architecture, especially in terms of functional uh, residential housing, which uh, covers most of the space? Do you have a favorite country of yours? I'm not sure whether it's one. I was always fascinated by what's going on in the Netherlands. In a way, our Gliwice and the Institute and the people that the Duda and Zubel, the Dutch conceptualist was uh, incepted in us and also the, definitely the Netherlands. I'm also fascinated what's going on in Japan, uh, uh, looking for interesting solutions for small places, especially what Sana does, or Solo Kajima. Oh, uh, no, no, there are many Japanese architects who aim at such solutions, fascinating solutions, but also like We've got a, a family-rated person in Denmark, Professor Medicine, we're talking a lot during the pandemic era. In Denmark, I, it happened to be uh, many times. I like it as a country, Denmark, uh, a, a country where I could live, not referring to the architecture. I like it mentally and I feel well there. And on the occasion, he lives in Aarhus. I'm not sure whether I pronounce it well, but talking before the pandemic, big got an order for the residential houses because we are reconstructing that. And now he was living for a while, a big, and he changed it into a very nice apartment, but he moved out, I, but he lives in a very nice place. But he, I'm sorry that's not in, in the big design, big house. I, I think that big architects had the job to, to arrange something spectacular. At the beginning, they made something very quiet, but the city requested that if this is the entry where you he, he enter the city that must be spectacular and they did something great i i have followed the apartments but the, the conceptual elements i like it actually you've mentioned a few aspects of this profession some fortune telling the fact that intellectually we've got to look for all the time. I think that another feature of this profession is that we should travel around the world and uh, we see the architecture live and certain good solutions apply. Obviously having applied them to the local concept, historical and climate concept, but also myself are uh, uh, appreciate the, the the Scandinavian and the Dutch architecture and Japanese. So I do hope that we'll get some good, only good models from there. I've got another question. Is the today town planning, uh, town planning system, including uh, local development plans, provides a possibility, an opportunity for creative thinking and designing? Definitely, uh, uh, there is some limitations for that because every limitation releases creativity. We've got unlimited possibilities, 
then you do not know what to start from. And this is a, a great uh, a problem that a number of limitations, but it's also a fact. Sometimes we complain that these plans are distracted from the reality, from the reality to which they apply frequently and it does not apply to the architecture only. Broadly understood planning action in this country, that these are ad hoc actions without a broader perspective. You know, a, a, a change of the zoning plan, uh, uh, we change something to something else, and there's no broader perspective, and I'm sure of that. And, you know, the Polish uh, a deal a integrates with that in some kind of chaos. I say we try to find in all that this common sense way. On the one hand, we've got the plan. On the other hand, frequently the context was entirely different, some history and this place which will head in some direction. We try to prepare a design in such a way as to combine that to provide some common sense, and that's frequently very, very difficult. But we, we've got to work on that, and we work mainly in Poland. You've also referred to the fact that we live in a dynamically changing world. Also, under Polish conditions, because we are not distracted from the world. And my observation that zoning plans that originate for a dozen or so years, this is just a register of old, not leading ideas, where in those cities we've got a 15-minute city, where we've got mix of functions, if we, in the plans we've got various various types of services or development. Everything is a, a, a mixed in old style. So the approach to make the zoning plans must change. And what's most important, the plans must be capable of uh, updating on a current basis in the, from the constant point of view. That was great opinion. We still have such a situation, Katowice, I was writing about recently, that in the place which our plans is the investment area. Uh, for years, there was a very dense forest, very needed in Silesia. Nobody sees that forest. It's physically there, but in places it's just the site for development. And what you've mentioned, very important thing, I forgot that. We, in the past, where there was some discussion, and I, I was addressing that topic, and there was a slogan, we became a slave what we were fighting for in the past. We were fi uh, fighting to create some uh, order, some framework within which we cannot move now, because now we are not in a position to respond what actually exists there. And most likely, if there's no uh, broader pr protests, uh, we will uh, the, the, the forest will disappear. You know, there are many areas uh, which are fit for investment, which are dead. So it would be enough only to, to connect these organisms, to that make it an organism. And you know, uh, manage the space wiser, but very difficult because the plan is such and that's it. I think that the legislation and planning should flexibly respond to the future challenges and I do hope that the will have more conceptual architects, Robert. I thank you very much for the meeting today. We don't have any more questions from the audience. It's also the time is over.
and we are also appreciate uh, the originator and sponsor of the project Aluprof and even today I invite for the next discussion about the future of architecture on the 23rd of September we will host Przemo Łukasik and I'm, I hope that it will be as interesting as today. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for uh, participating in the